Welcome to Electron Line. It's also handy to be able to go back and forth between the exponential form and the radical form in the case that we have to evaluate something like this, minus 16 raised to the 3 fourths power. But before we get started, we have to be careful and realize that the negative sign is not affected by the exponent because there's no parentheses around it like this. If we had written it like this instead, minus 16 in parentheses raised to the 3 fourths power, now the negative sign would be affected by the exponent, but in this case, it's only affecting the 16. In other words, this is the same as writing minus the quantity 16 raised to the 3 fourths power. Here it's actually a little bit more clear that the exponent does not affect the negative sign, only the number inside the parentheses. It helps to be able to put this into radical form to get a feel of what we're trying to do with this here. So this can also be written as negative radical sign. The number at the bottom is the root, so it's the fourth root of this number raised to the third power. Now it's easier to evaluate it. Now it doesn't matter in which order we do it. We can first take 16 raised to the third power, but then we end up with a really big number. Or we can take the number 16, take the fourth root of it, and then take that result and raise it to the third power. And that's an easier way to go because then we're working with smaller numbers. So in other words, this is equal to negative, and what we can do is we can take the fourth root of this number, so this is going to be the fourth root of 16 is 2 raised to the third power. The reason why I know that is because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16, and therefore the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. So I took the number 16, I took the fourth root of that, made it into number 2, and now I'm raising it to the third power. It really doesn't matter what order you do it in. Now we can go ahead and take 2 to the third power, which is 8, so this is equal to minus 8, and that's then the final answer. Well, we could have done it the other way, but you know what? 16 to the third power is a pretty big number. Let's take our calculator and see what the number is equal to. So 16 raised to the third power equals 4096. So we can say, well, this is equal to the negative of the fourth root of 4096. Now the question is, what is the fourth root of 4096? And unless we have a calculator, you wouldn't be able to figure that out on your own. Well, maybe you could, but it would be a lot of work. So I would recommend that we take the fourth root first, go to this negative 2 to the third power, and then simply take 2 to the third power to get the final answer. And that's the best way to do it. 